Hi guys, thanks for joining me. So I'm calling time on this build. Um, there are one or two things I could add to it. For instance, the cradle's not on there and there's another uh, part of the um, cradle that uh, connects to the rocket um, that isn't on there either. But uh, I, I don't know what it is. It, this uh, build just seems to have sucked the mojo, to be honest. I did do some more work on it today. I put the decals on the, the vehicles, um, finished painting the the um, cradle section that you can see the rocket sitting on, um, finished painting the red pipes, um, but uh, I need to move on and do something else now. I don't know how long I've been working on this. For all I know, you know, it could be a month, uh, the whole month of, uh, of March. Um, the old guard on my channel will know that uh, I quite like um, projects that are, um, are quick so that I get a, a quick win if you like and um, can move on to something new. Uh, possibly one of the reasons why I'm building 172nd normally. Um, there were still one or two issues with uh, the decal call out on the instructions. I think they had two number 36s but they were different decals. Um, and then they got the wrong number for a couple of other decals you needed to swap them around. Um, so uh, <clears throat> I had issues getting into the red piping, um, painting that. Uh, basically because I constructed it all and then uh, primed it to paint. Um, I think it's Hip Guy or somebody like that that I was watching. He, he um, sprayed up the parts first and then constructed it. But of course if you do that then there's that issue of whether the, the uh, glue will get through to the plastic or whether you're just adhering paint to paint. The rocket is um, not secured to the to that cradle that's there. I can take it off um, so that'll be possibly better for storage and things like that. So I think that's basically it. Um, I want to as I say move on to uh, the commercial group build although I am really struggling to focus on anything hobby related at the moment. I'm just watching YouTube videos about uh, Mandalorian and um, Obi-Wan and a few other Star Wars series um, and basically I'm looking at other people's reactions to them to see if they you know um, are similar to my own about some of the episodes so that's where I'm where I'm at. I'm just sitting almost like watching telly and not really doing anything else. Um, thank you for all the nice comments about this build. I do appreciate it. Um, would I build it again? No, I wouldn't. Uh, this, this, well, I certainly wouldn't at the moment. Let's put it that way. It, it, it really has drained the mojo. Um, I think I would prefer just to build a rocket, um, perhaps next year, rather than the launch pad. Although, you know, if, if you do a good job of it, it does look quite a decent uh, model. Um, <clears throat> but it is quite large, so storing it after you've finished it um, may be a bit of a challenge, you know, on a shelf or something like that. The ramp's still separate, um, so I can put it by the side of it or something to reduce the length of it. But as I say, I, I think uh, I, I need to shut this one down now and, um, and get onto something. Anyway guys, so thanks ever so much for watching, I do appreciate it. Uh, I'm still trying to get through your videos as uh, quick as I can and as best I can. Please keep them coming because at the end of the day if I am building a kit or whatever then I'll switch your videos on to, to watch whilst I'm uh, hobbying myself. Look after yourselves and I'll catch up with you soon.